We got a fundraiser going on right now. This fundraiser, we're trying to raise uh, 25,000 to re just to reopen and stay open. That's the owner of the Rib Shack back in April. Her restaurant on the brink of closing. One. And this is her now. After that fundraiser proved a smash hit, she's serving up more award-winning barbecue and gratitude to the Omaha community. That's good to see today. Ribs Shack Smokehouse celebrated with that ribbon cutting seven months after tragedy hit. And before the event, 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis sat down with the owners to talk about what this moment means to them. It's just natural to feel like you, you can't, can't keep going on because you lost a son and then how can you keep going on because you lost your son, you know, all these different emotions. Rib Shack is back serving customers their in-house smoked meats. He's going to be cooking for about three and a half, four hours. But seven months ago, owners of the barbecue joint weren't sure whether their doors would open ever again. You, you never expect, you know, to, to lose a child. They lost their 31 year old son, Malcolm Jr. unexpectedly after a crash, a son they call selfless. He was after the world. Huh? Yes, that was his uh, thing. Yes. He would, he would say. He was after the world, that was his, he was dream to take over the world. He had, a, he had a plan to do it. It came at a time when they felt they were finally getting back on their feet from Malcolm Sr.'s heart transplant. That day he was about to give up, he got the call. COVID. One minute I can't find peaches, one minute I can't find uh, just simple stuff. And people messing with their business. Our signs were stolen. The Robins closed their doors for about two months. When they got back, not only were they grieving, but they were struggling. Just because of those things that you experience and don't stop, you know, the bills from coming. Help from the community and motivation from their kids kept them going. After months and even years of unexpected difficulties, Jackie and Malcolm are ready to celebrate how far they've come and look to the future. It helps us when we meet these great people and, and they enjoy the food. Wonderful so far, great. The rib tips are really tender and great sauce. The sides are great. I love their coleslaw. And on the hard times, they look to one another. Have the perseverance to, to keep going. You know, we encourage each other. In Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. Now it's dinner time. You'll find Rib Shack near 108th and Q. Open Wednesday and Thursday, 11 to 8. Friday and Saturday, 11 to 10. And Sunday, noon to 8.